Hey guys, Chad Taverny here with Vantage Point Outdoors. And in this video, I just wanted to give you guys an update from uh, one of my small food plots that I actually have not given you guys an update from yet this year. This is just a small little 1 15th acre uh, food plot or so. And last year I put this, I seeded this down to clover. But uh, what happens in this food plot, and it happens every year, is this is a low spot on this general property, which is a lot of acreage. But all of the all of the woods, all the snow melt in the spring from all the neighboring woods, you know, kind of funnels down to this area. And this little food plot has actually got standing water in it up until like usually like end of May before it even dries up. And so what happens is there's so much standing water here for so long in the springtime. And and what happens here is because there's so much standing water here in the springtime and all that all that watershed what it does is it, it just it drags a lot of weed seed into here every spring and the standing water kind of rots the clover because it's standing water for so long and all those weed seeds are being brought in from the watershed it's just hard to keep this food plot from getting you know heavily um, out competed by weeds and grasses which is happening again happening again this year I do have some clover in here that looks pretty good but I also have a lot of weed seeds a lot of weeds coming up in here so I think what I'm gonna do here I'm still undecided ultimately but I'm leaning more towards coming in here uh, in another month or so uh, weed trimming what's here and then spraying and then just letting this die for like a month maybe even a little bit longer and then I'll come in here end of July first part of August and I'll see the fall food plot blend in here and uh, I think this might be a food plot that I have to keep into a fall blend because of the because of the environmental conditions that this food plot here experiences yes clover could grow very does grow very well here but what happens is you know over the going into the next springtime that watershed brings in too many weed seeds and it uh, and it rots the clover because there's so much standing water so this really isn't a good food plot location to have a perennial so I'm probably going to lead lean towards weed whacking this in a month spraying it coming back towards the end of summer early part of fall and putting in a fall blend so just wanted to give you guys a quick video on this um, sometimes the location of the food plot is in the environmental factors that 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 it receives is going to dictate what kind of forage blend you should try growing within that food plot. So sometimes you have to let mother nature in the environmental factors in each given area dictate what you do as far as food plotting. Anyways guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to the show as always. I'll see you next time right here on the VPO Minute.